It's your girl Naya Naj and I'm back with another YouTube video. If you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. But if you're not, welcome back, babes. <laughs> As you guys can see by the title of this video, this video will be like a Sunday reset vlog. I got some things that I need to do this morning as far as cleaning this house, doing laundry, going to get me another journal, uh, another planner just for the next month. I need to clean my room. I want it to redecorate it. I really want to just change the bed in, but honestly, I'm just not going to do that until I get off of work. I'm just going to focus on cleaning everything up right now. So yeah let me take y'all on what we're doing today so first i want to start by washing clothes i need to wash the sheets and the pillowcases on this bed i also have some laundry to do as far as clothes wise and i need to go ahead and vacuum this floor um clean up this second room and straighten up the living room i also want to go ahead and get me a journal so i can start back journaling because i really want to get back into that as far as writing my day out and stuff it really helped me a lot it really helped me a lot journaling really decompresses the mind and i don't know it's like a magic trick or something once you write all your feelings out and get through all of that it's like it doesn't exist no more i done got it off of my chest and now i'm good so yeah y'all so it's currently 10 30 right now and we're gonna get ready with this video so yeah make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and stay tuned So my girl just bought me some new candles and I wanted to come tell y'all about them because I've been in the mood to like candle shop. I'm just loving candles nowadays y'all, especially because it's almost winter time. It's like, it's just perfect. It goes with the aesthetic, baby. So the first candle she got me was this white birch cashmere candle. And I haven't smelled any of these yet, so I will be trying them out now. So let's smell this one. I like this one. It's, it has white birch spice and amber in it. It smells really good. It's definitely giving fall candles, so I really like this one. 10 out of 10, y'all. Okay. So the next one we have is this candle here, and it's called Weathered Oak. And I'm gonna smell this one. This one smells really manly but clean at the same time. Like if you know what I mean, 
if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. This one smells really good though, but it's like a man scented type candle, if y'all know what I mean. But still giving that fall. I don't know what it has in this one. It just says weathered oak. It doesn't really give me a specific of like the scent or anything. But I'm telling you, it's giving men's Bath and Body Works collection. It smells good though. Um, the next candle is this berry. I don't know. Berry proceed. I don't know, y'all. But this berry candle. Mm, this one smells so good. This one smells fruity, of course, like a berry. It smells really good. I love berry things. If you know, you know. Next thing we have is this small little candle. It's called Lemon Zest. It has lemon, yuzu, and vanilla in it. Oh my gosh. This one smells so good. Like, I really like this one. I thought this was going to give the lemony, but like that vanilla with the lemon is like a hit. I really like this one. I might like this one because I'm trying to look for a candle for me to light, which is why I'm smelling all of these. So the last candle that we have is this lavender rosewood. It has lavender green tea, green tea rosewood in it. So let's smell this one. I love this one too. This one smells good. I really like lavender things. It's just like a regular lavender candle. But I think the one I wanna I wanna light is this one. And she got me these small ones for my bedside or whatever, like my little nightstand. So I think I'm gonna light this one today, y'all. So yeah. This smells really good.
to go. And this is how I look right now. So right now, y'all, so right now, y'all, I'm about to head to Dunkin' Donuts because I wanted to try their new cookie butter or whatever it's called, their new coffee that they have out this season. I like Dunkin' Donuts, so I'm ready to hop on the bandwagon with everybody else. And I also want to go to Five Below to find me a journal. They have, like, a lot of journal and, like, different styles that you can choose from. And I also want to get me some food. I wanted pizza. I wanted a sub, but now I just don't want it. I think I might want Chick Fil A today. Just some fries and maybe some chicken tenders. Not nothing too big because I gotta go to work at four. So yeah. So I'm just getting the Dunkin'. I don't really know what the drink is called. I'm trying to look on the. I'll be embarrassed, y'all. I don't be knowing what the names are. Oh, I see it. Okay, okay, okay. It's the cookie butter cold beverage. That's what we're getting, the cookie butter cold beverage. And I've been seeing all over and I've been seeing this drink all over TikTok. So I've been wanting to try it for like two or three days and I never just got up and went. So today is exactly the day to do that. Especially because I have had a long tiring weekend. And I know it's cold brew, but I don't know, y'all. It just it sorta of does something to you because you have like a sugar red and it gives you energy and stuff like that. But I don't know. So today yeah, we're gonna try that cookie butter and I hope it's I hope it tastes really good because it looks really good and I just want it to taste good for real. But right now they're taking forever. Like the car in front of me been in front of me for like five minutes and they haven't moved up or nothing. I don't know if they started talking or what, but they need to come on because I'm on a time crunch. <clears throat> and I'm trying to make it to all of my pit stops today. Especially my food. Yeah. I have the cookie butter. What size? Um, I'll take a medium. You want it ice? Please. What else for you? That'd be all. You can pull up. Thank you. It's not just the ghetto. Okay, yeah, we can pull up. Okay, y'all, so I got the drink. And she gave it to me for free. God, it is good. It literally tastes like Christmas in a cup. Why is nobody using blinkers to the last minute? Like, stop fucking playing. Y'all missing out my morning. Anyways, y'all, I love that coffee. Like, that's my new favorite coffee. I hope they keep it. I hope it's just not seasonal, and I hope they just bringing it back. Cause it really tastes really good for real like i'm about to drink all of that right now literally but i'm almost to five below i'm ready to get my journal i'm ready to see what kind of styles they have because like i like i told y'all they be having all all kind of journals like gratitude journals self-care journals like any kind of journals that you can think of they be having them 
so I'm just excited to see what they have. And plus, they've been trending on TikTok about the stuff they have in. I don't want to get to spending all that money though, because I just came in here for a little journal, y'all, and the lady did not charge me for my drink. So, girl, math is that we got an extra ten dollars to spare. I don't got time to be in lost, y'all. I already almost that time for me to be heading to work. Pull up on me, drop that. Yeah. Damn, why is that bad spot? Okay, y'all, so I just got back from running my errands or whatever. Um, I made it on time, but I didn't get me any food because I was trying to get back home before 3 o'clock. And it's 2.45 right now. But I do want to show y'all what I got out of five below. I ended up getting three items. And the first item I got was this gratitude journal. Basically, it's saying appreciate your blessings every single day. And this is what it says it's for. It said, want to boost your mood, lower your stress levels, improve your relationships, and supercharge your health. Why not try the art of keeping a journal? Just a few minutes a day spent giving thanks for all the good things in your life can recap dividends and can have profound effects on your emotional and physical well-being so basically it's saying focusing on the good things in your life will bring you joy and make you appreciate your blessings basically so on the first page it gives you like a an introduction of it says why should we cultivate gratitude and it gives you all of that um it tells you how to use your gratitude journal but some of the things they ask you is like it has a morning and an evening side so you have for morning and night time it asks you today i would try to boom then it say a natural mood booster my daily natural fix will be what's your natural mood booster i would take the time to focus on and then it says set your positive intention so if you don't know what intention is, it's kind of like manifestation, but I think it's just like in the mind only like, like your mind type thing. I don't know, but it's, I feel like it's the same thing. So you get to do that as well. And for the evening time, and it's just on page one, I, the questions probably change. Um, so at the evening one, it says, today I was most grateful for it. And then it said the best part of my day was one thing I one thing I learned today was and then it said despite whatever bad happened today, it all worked out because so try to turn your negative into a positive message. So that's how that page is looking off y'all can see. But I really wanted this one because you know, as humans we get caught up in all the bad and negative things that happen in our life that we don't really sit down and appreciate the big things and the positive things that's happening in our life. We just all just swarm to the negative thoughts. And that's what really keeps us in these low vibrating phases of life because we don't know how to let things go. And I feel like this gratitude journal is a good way if you're holding on to anything to just let everything go and just be thankful for the things that you're blessed with and for all of your blessings that the Lord has given you. So, I really like this one a lot and that's why I really had to get this one. But the next one is this little black planner. It's a blank planner, meaning it has no months written down, no days written down. And I like this one because it doesn't hold you to 2023. We're going into 2024, so this was a definitely a win for me because I needed something just to get me through this last little month. That's what I was really looking for a journal for. But I ended up finding one that I could use beyond 2023, and it really helped me a lot. So I went ahead and got it. It was only $5. And by the way, y'all only spent $16 in there. But I like this one because it gives you goals in the front. And y'all can see that. It just has like a goal page. It's a goal for whatever you want to write in. Friends, family, romance, health and fitness, school, career, growth, learning, spirituality, finances, community, home, fun, and other things that you like. Also, books to read, places to go, things to do. It has all of that on the first few pages. Then it has these blank months. And that's what it looks like. You get to write in the days and the months. It's just blank. Then, not just that. 
it also has where you can write down some notes yeah like sunday monday tuesday wednesday that you can write down notes kind of like a to-do list write out what you're doing on those days and for me that's very helpful and also it has under that rate your day it has five stars so one to five stars rate your day i like that as well and down on below it has your tasks even though you have a lot of room to write your tasks, it still gave you an option to write your other tasks. But, yeah. I think that's really good. And it gives you goals for, like, each section of the planner. So, I really like that. And, and it also has these tasks. So, that was the first task. So, the second one. And it also has like a spending log. Like this thing has everything. A spending log. Places where you can write notes at. A water tracker. A goal tracker. Tasks. Your habits. Like this is crazy. I love this journal. This one is going to be good. I can't wait to start using this one. Because yeah. I'm, I'm loving it already. But yeah. So the last one I got was just like this little flowery planner. Not planner. Flowery journal. And I just got this one because this one, you can write in it, but it wasn't for that purpose. And I told y'all I need the journal. And also, the gratitude journal is for giving positive, like putting the light on positive things and not just focusing on the negative things. So I decided to just get a plain journal just to journal out my thoughts. Anything extra I would like to add, journal out my days. It just really helps me with my peace of mind. So I decided to go ahead and get another journal and it's really cute. Right now it's three. So right now it's 255. And I'm about to go ahead and start getting ready for work. I will see you guys after work. Thank you for tuning in to the first half of this video. I want to go ahead and do my nighttime routine for you guys tonight. As well as kind of get in my bed back straight and my room back straight with my comforters, my new comforters. Hopefully, I can get my girl to go by the store to get some nails so she can hang these portraits on the wall. I just want to get the room looking real comfy and vibish and stylish. Y'all know. But I will see you guys after work. Good morning, babes. I'm back, and this is the next day. Um, I'm about to go ahead and finish up this video. I'm about to go ahead and make up my bed with my new comforter set and journal on my day from yesterday and this should bring this video to an end thank you guys for tuning in this far <laughs>
right y'all so this is the end of this video if you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and hit that post notification bell to be notified every single time i post a new video and i'll see you guys in the next one